Right, <clears throat> boys and girls, hello, are you okay? I've uh, dislocated my knee. <laughs> right, so, hello, are you okay? I hope, I hope this is recording, I hope you can hear me. Hello. An update on the speed triple, something that people have been asking for for a while now, and unfortunately I've not been able to give you much answers because I don't, I haven't really known myself uh, where things are up to, where everything is, etc. Let me just... There we go. A lot of people have been asking about it, but I've not really been able to give many people many answers because I don't really know myself, to be honest. I've not... It's been, an, it's been a fucking nightmare. It really has been an absolute nightmare. And I've got enough to stress about at the minute right now than fucking motorbikes, but life goes on, doesn't it, eh? You might have seen from the channel, if you're not a subscriber or if you've not been following, I've been having a lot of issues with my speed triple. I haven't had the speed triple now for coming up to two months it's been at Triumph, uh, and I've still been paying for it. So it went in with a load of issues. I've gone over those a million times in videos. If you want a list, go and look at my other videos. There's a, a video I did, which was like, just this angle. Yeah, there was a video that I did that basically says the negatives about the Speed Triple. Uh, and there's been a few videos since then, like when I first got the Street Triple. I've had that Street Triple now for a few months. Still got it, still got the keys. Uh, I've done about a thousand mile on that bike now. So that puts into perspective, you know, how long I've had it, put it that way. So, where is it? Now, long story short, it's gone. It's gone. I'm not getting it back. Now, as much as I like that bike, as much as I like it when it works, I've been sh I've been shaken, really, by Triumph. Um, and they'll... I don't want to say lack of acknowledgement for the issues, because Stafford Triumph have been very good to me. Dealerships have had a lot of these bikes in and a lot of them have been waiting around waiting for parts like my bike for example has been waiting for its oil a new oil pump now for a long time i got told in march that it'll be mid-april that they were expecting to get it in and fix it by and then i got a call saying you know didn't hear anything for weeks got another call then saying oh no it's going to be mid-may then i got a call saying oh it might be done before mid-may and i basically heard off them today and it's it's fingers crossed it's mid-may now I, I honestly think a lot of this is due to COVID. Triumph didn't really want to miss out on the market. That's my opinion. I don't know that. It's just one of those things because with the Duke coming out and the uh, the Duke Evo, the 1290 Duke Evo, the, Tuo the Tuono that's just come out, I think they wanted a piece of the pie there and they wanted to get theirs out. Now, COVID and all of its restrictions and stopping of travel and all that kind of stuff has meant that things can't evolve properly. You know, they've not been able to test the bike to their to the standard that they want to or something like that i don't know but at the end of the day there's no excuse they should have kept on if the, if the bike wasn't fit for purpose and it's not been tested properly they should have kept it out of the market in my opinion and i get it and it wouldn't have been causing them so many problems because there have i know triumph i've had a lot of problems with these bikes so again i got a letter from the finance company recently i pushed i keep pushing i keep pushing i keep pushing um and back and forth between the finance company and and, and the dealerships and triumph and it's just been a fucking nightmare it has been oh my god like like i said i've got enough to fucking deal with in life let alone this shite i mean i shouldn't be having to deal with this i should have just been able to pay my money fuck off and that's it but no so i'm just going to take you over the letter i got a final offer letter uh from the finance company i'm just going to paraphrase this i'm not going to read the entire thing because no one has time for that shite offer one price reduction Therefore, we'll be able to support the price reduction of 10%. Based on the purchase price of the goods, rounded up to the nearest pound, this will come to an amount of £1,480. Yeah. They initially came at me a few weeks ago with a price of 5%, which I laughed at and said, not a chance. That's an insult. I also asked at the time, what about the payments that I've missed? And they said, well, you've had a loan bike, as if that was meant to justify the fact that I'm paying 200 and something pound for a bike that I don't fucking have and it's sitting in a dealership for God knows how long. We won't go there. Note, should you decide, this is this is, this is is the juicy shit here, right? So, note, should you decide to accept this offer, it will be as, as full and a final settlement for any claim against us as your finance provider for the reported issues as lift above, listed above. You will be unable to raise any future claims against us for these issues. This would include, if any, the repairs completed by the retailer would not be successfully resolve your issue, and if you're accepting and you're accepting the vehicle with these issues present at a discounted price that also made me laugh basically they're saying once this is done it's done you can't come back to us with any more problems which knowing the, the track record okay knowing the track record of this bike i'm not i'm not confident with that at all i don't know what's going to come up in the future the amount of problems that we've had so far it's shaken me it really has 
my confidence in Triumph is gone. Offer two, partial refund. We'll get collect your bike from you and then close the agreement without any further cost to you. In addition, we will make a payment to you of £1,004, 31p. So £360 refund of my cash deposit. Now I can't remember how much deposit I put down. £428.70 partial refund for my direct debits, which is two months direct debits, basically. And it's not just the two months that have gone that have that that are the problem. It was in December. It was it, it was it staff triumph for two or three weeks, maybe longer than that. There have been times where I've not been able to use the bike and not be able to use it because they've had to come and pick it up because of the errors on the on the bike were saying don't ride the bike. So I've not been able it's been in the garage but not been able to use it. Again, one of those things. They've given me two months back, basically. 8% uh, eight, <laughs> 8 interest on the above two amounts, which it has taken from me. £200 for any trouble or upset experience, taking into account the number of issues and length of time the concerns were going along with any distress and inconveniences caused. Now, I've had this bike for five months. Three months of those have had issues. So I don't know how they've got to that. But so basically the total redress paid will be 1,004 pennies and 31, sorry, 1,004 pound and 31 pennies. Uh, please note 8% interest is an interest payment, blah, 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 basically saying that um, I get taxed on a certain amount of that money. Uh, also, as you have covered approximately 1,000 mile in the goods, we do not feel we are responsible for refunding you for all of your monthly payments. This is due to the usage charge that we apply that charges one monthly repayment for every 500 miles our customer has covered. Therefore, we retain two payments and the refund of the remaining amounts back to you as above. So that's that. That's my two options. That's final. They're not going to change unless I go to the ombudsman and go to small claims and go to court with it, which, quite frankly, I can't be bothered with. And I'm sure they're banking on that. I could probably get more. I could probably get more out of this, but I don't really. I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy. And that's what they're relying on. They're relying on people like to just give up. And I've taken it this far. I didn't think I'd take it this far, but I've taken it this far, you know. And I've gone a lot more than people would have thought. It's gone further than I would have ever thought. Uh, and here we are. So I have rung them up today and I have gone and said they can keep the bike. They give me a thousand pound, put that back in my pocket, and we walk away, and that's that. So speed triple, gone. It's gone. Yeah that's where we're at so now i'm in the process of looking at a new bike new insurance which then means that i've got to think about things like on the road prices tax insurance changes and cancellations or payment like further payments new finance what else tax red first registration fees first services delivery depending on where it is because i don't have a bike now I can't get anywhere, I need to get to work if I'm starting back, back in the office, if I, which is what I wanted to do, although I can work from home, thankfully, uh, so I'm without a bike. So this channel is henceforth ceased for now, until we figure out what the fuck is going on. Yeah, it's it's been a bit of a been a bit of a shit one, this, to be honest, and the thing is, I could have kept it, and I could have had a 1400 quid reduction in price, but if there were any further issues, I couldn't do anything about that. That was it. Uh, and I didn't want this to go on any further and I didn't want it to, you know, it's I've got my own shit to deal with right now I really do and I don't really want to be having to put up with this shite, but like I said, that's life. Life isn't meant to be easy is it, eh? So, so there we are now, looking at other bikes there's something potentially lined up, I want something similar, I think you guys already know what it's going to be, I'm going to leave that one there, but I've been looking at a few different bikes at a few different prices and seeing what could do that £1,000 that I get back is going to be used as a deposit for a new bike um, obviously I'm going to have to take a kick with the insurance so we'll have to see what kind of refund to get from that or if the uh, if my underwriter will accept a new bike in but I'm looking at the Torno V4 there's a good deal on and the Duke 1290R and the MT10 and there's a few other kicking about that I'm looking at at the minute but it all depends on what's a good deal where I can get what from and, and, and all that nonsense and what, what I can afford to be honest you know I'm not made of money. If it's around the same monthly payments, then that's that. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Um, but I just want something to work. And thinking of the Aprilia, I've been having a look and do my research, and there's a lot of people that have, I've got them, and um, Aprilia again, it's like Ducati. They were kind of like the brand that never really, they had a lot of reliability issues. It's, it's Italian. There's the whole stigma around that. Now, I know there's a lot of people with those bikes that have done well, but I know for a fact that there are a lot of people with the new Tuonos that are having a lot of problems and I'm sick of problems. I really am sick of problems. So I could pick one out for 15, 15 grand, 15 and a half grand, 
there's, there's a good deal on. It'll be PCP again because I can't just afford, I can't afford to just go and buy a new bike because who can, you know, and I'm not taking out a loan because I'm not doing that. And then there's the Kate, there's obviously the Duke, the Duke 1290 uh, um, and that I can get a decent deal with one of those. I've had a, I've had a shop around, I've had a few insurance quotes, I've had a few calls to dealers and stuff like that and look potentially pretty juicy with that so we'll see what happens with that the mt10 no one can get hold of them the sps at least they're on back order till end of the year uh, and they're being made to order for per customer because people can't they can't make as many again due to the backlog of, of covid and people still unable to get shit done uh, properly and sourcing parts and all that stuff so there's barely any of those around you can't test ride them and i'm not buying a bike without a test riding it again back to the aprilia uh, the only thing put, putting me off with that as well is that the fact that in the UK there are fairly any Aprilia dealers around, at least where I live. The only closest one to me is Denbigshire, which is, it's a fair kick away to be honest. And yeah, if there's any issues, it's either go to there or go down south. And I think there's one up in the north of Manchester, which again, it's 50 mile radius. It's quite, whereas with KTM or with Yamaha or with Suzuki, whoever, BMW, there's quite a lot around me so I can... If there's any issues servicing all that kind of stuff i can just go there servicing for the tuono is quite expensive getting parts for the tuono is quite expensive and i'm not saying there's nothing about but again it's it's a bit more difficult than than a more regular brand like our japanese japanese big four or ktm or bmw so that's that i've had a look at the bmw and again the only thing that's putting me off with the ktm and the bmw is that you've got to buy you get the base bike and then it actually to order to get the actual bike you pay for you've got to buy packs and kits and it, it's like you can't just buy a bike anymore and just have it work you have to buy these fucking tech packs and all this shit which is annoying which is why i like the speed triple so much was because it was a good mid-range pretty say affordable it was in that bottom end of the of the price scale for the for the uh for the hyper naked stuff uh and you just ride away and that was that and the thing is like i said i like the speed triple i love it i'm gonna miss it i really am gonna miss it but at the end of the day i don't know what other issues it's going to cause me in the future and i don't really want to have to go through this again because there's no avenue for me to go down now to 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 raise concern or uh you know without going to court or without without it being a lot of stress and i can't be doing with stress right now so or in the future i'm trying to reduce all that kind of stuff so it looks like it's going to be a new bike and i've told them now that's what i want is option to send it back so that's where we're at to the people that have watched my channel for the speed triple thank you for sticking around thank you for keeping with me i'm afraid that i'm not going to be going back to a speed triple so if you're sticking around for that it might be time for you to move on just as it's time for me to move on from the speed triple and triumph as a brand so thank you for bearing with me i was getting ready to to do like a more positive mindset on that bike once i got it back i was going to do a thousand mile review the positive because i did a negative video i was going to do a positive video but then it got taken away there's lots of things lots of things and everyone thinks that this is a negative dig at the speed triple channel it's not that at all like i've said in a million videos i love the bike i really do when it works the problem now is that it's with staffs the finance company are going to pick the bike up but i've still got all my parts on it like my exhaust and there's bits that i've put on there that i want back so i don't know how that's going to work but i want my stuff back because i can then sell that on and you know it will ease the ease the the pain of what's coming that with the new bike at least i am going to go for a new bike because looking at new bikes versus used bikes the the, the interest in apr is around about 10 to 14 percent on a used bike depending on where you go uh, on a new bike you can get quite good deals because it's, it's in riding season now so i've managed to find quite a few good deals on online and finding something that's right for me price wise and that's reliable so yeah thank you guys ever so much for uh sticking with me again like i said there might be a little bit of a break in the channel i'm going through some stuff at the minute anyway and i'm not really feeling up to making many videos at the minute i've just not been right so thanks for bearing with me Hopefully you will get this all sorted soon. Stick around for, for a potential new bike reveal. The fucking seventh one in like two years. But So yeah, stay tuned, stick with. Thank you very much for watching. If you could, like and subscribe. That really, really does help the channel. We've just passed 500 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I like, did not ex expect that so soon, at least. So we were doing really well with this channel. We were doing really, really well. But especially with the speed. But I'm afraid. I mean, I've got the stuff coming in for the speed triple still thing is on back order which i'm gonna to have to send back now so yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i'll see you very very soon i'm sure and until the next time folks sort them out see you soon